Hey, what's up? It's me again, Seville614. Um, right now, I'm going to do an unboxing of this amplifier as well as this amp kit. Um, heavy as hell. This is more heavier than anything that I've ever touched for a 1,800 watt amplifier, but oh well. Um, I already uh, cut up the seal, so it, I haven't even opened up the box yet, so put it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And holy crap. Let's see. Grab this out of here. Boy, this I feel like Christmas. Early Christmas for me. Put that to the side. Um let's see. Grab this amplifier, this heavy ass thing. Pull it out for you guys in a minute. Let's see, uh some wire. Okay. Some hardware, looks like the manual all in one package, sweet. Oh wow, three Allen wrenches? Why? Okay, um, that's the box, alright, but so I'm going to close that real quick. And this will be in a separate video as well. I know, making three videos, pointless, but um, mine as well. Probably get more views that way for separate videos, but... Alright, let's check out this amplifier. Because this video is really mainly about this amplifier. And oh gosh, allergies. Sorry guys if you guys can hear me sniff. <laughs> like, sorry. It's just really bad over here where I live. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna put this. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay. There's the amplifier. I mean, look. Like, look how big this thing is. I mean, I'm 5'11", dude. Holy crap. This is probably, like, as big as a um, Soundstream DTR uh, 1400. And, I mean, like, literally, it's literally that small. Like, I don't have that amp currently, so I can't really show you guys. But um, I can show you guys a different amp, like a Sony 4-channel amp. Uh, let's go grab it real quick. Uh, uh, let's run, 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 run. Let's see. Uh, unhook this real quick. Just to compare it. Run, 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 run. It's like, don't run. <laughs> Bad idea. So, here's the amplifier itself, it's the uh, old Sony 600 watt 4 channel. This thing, oh my gosh, I gotta tell you guys, it's smaller and it's fucking heavy, holy shit. Oh. It's heavy as hell, I can't even lift it with one arm, honestly. So, alright, I'm gonna put the camera down because I'm using my phone. Fortunately, so I'm gonna put the camera down for a minute and uh, pull this plastic out. <sighs> Shit. Alright. Okay. Well, see, I got four gauge terminals. Huge. Oh, I see why they had three for the remote wire. And then I got two speaker terminals. Okay, so what? Just only two. It's only a one channel lamp, so what can I do? And I got that, which is pretty sick because I can use my finger actually. I don't have to use a screwdriver anymore. <laughs> and I mean, this is just si shiny, dude. Like, I don't know. Pretty beefy. Like, really beefy. <laughs> and now let's see what this is. Uh, if we can get it out of there, cool. Yes. Get out of the box. Get, come on, come on. Oh man. Whoa, that thing's heavy. Now I got the base boost knob right there. Let's see if I can. If this is just open. Okay, yeah, it's open. Alright, cool. Like, see, they have this preset in. Like, Right at Lanzar, so you would probably look at Lanzar Max Pro 
and, like, not even think about it. Like, holy crap, if you think about it. But I'm going to keep that in mind where it's at so I can, like, actually see before I tune it, like, where it's set to and everything and how it sounds. But right now, I want to put it at the middle, and then later on, I'm going to put it at Lanzar Max Pro at the their logo and see how it sounds. But it's pretty awesome that it comes with the bass remote knob. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to cut this video off. It's five minutes, holy crap. And um, we'll see you from there.